We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to create a resource mailbox. And a resource mailbox can be used for something such as a conference room, or it could be a, a device like a television that you would want to, want to check out at an office. So let's go from our Office 365 home screen and click on the admin. Of course, you have to be the administrator of the account to see that. And if you're not seeing that box, that means you're not the right person to do it. So once you've logged in with the right user and you've gone to the admin center, click on resources and click on rooms and equipment. So from here, we want to add a room and we're going to call it conference. And we're going to give it the email of conference. It has to have an email address, otherwise people can't set up appointments to it. We can add a capacity, we can add a location, and we can add a phone number in case it needs it. Having a phone number actually is a pretty good idea in case someone needs to call the conference room. So I'll just give it a four digit number. We'll give location, north side, and the capacity according to whatever the fire rules are, we'll say 25 people. Now we'll go ahead and click add. From here, we can now click on View Details for the room, and we can make changes if we want by clicking Edit, or we can do other things. We can add additional rooms, etc. Let's go back into our room here, and let's go ahead and click on Edit. And if we decide our capacity is going to be 30 people, we'll just go ahead and add that, click Save, and we'll click View Details. And we say, oh, everything's exactly the way we want it. Go ahead and click Close. Let's go back in so we can make some changes, and that is to the Automatic Processing and the Delegates area. Click on Edit. And from here, we have several options, such as Allow Repeating Meetings, Allow Scheduling Only During Work Hours. So if you don't want people to make meetings after work hours, then you can turn that on. Automatically decline meetings outside of limits in case we set any limits. We have the booking windows, so you can create a meeting within 180 days. Now, of course, you can change that if you want. We have the maximum duration. You cannot have a meeting longer than 24 hours. You can change that as well. The auto accept meeting request is turned on, so if anyone sets up a meeting, it will automatically be accepted by the mailbox and anyone else looking at this mailbox calendar will be able to see that that time is booked. So that's a good thing to have turned on. Now if you decide to not have everyone be able to set up a meeting for this room, you could turn it off. And then from here you can add specific people who can go ahead and accept those meeting requests. Adds a little bit more effort, but you can certainly do that. Go ahead and click Save when you're done. And then we can close it. And now our conference room is ready to go.